at this point in the season, but we are officially down to two. It's game one of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox. Again, everybody, Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2018 Boston Red Sox. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I love watching Manny Machado do his thing. He's such a great talent, the kind of talent that can dominate a game, a, a perennial all-star, and win some awards. He's one of the best in the game today, and he's always fun to watch. Chris Sale gets the call on the mound here at home for game one of the World Series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Thanks, Matt. Chris Sale, you're talking about one of the premier pitchers in the game of baseball. Big fastball, 95 to 98 miles an hour. Wipe out slider. Great comparison. He's the closest thing we've seen to Randy Johnson. A nightmare against lefties. Three-pitch guy, fastball, slider, and a changeup that's getting better all the time. He is a definition of a true ace. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's focus our attention on Xander Bogart. Shortstop, up the shoot. One of the best in the business. One of the smoothest players in the game. We talk a lot about Robinson Cano and how he goes about his business at second base. The X-Man is no different at shortstop and the bat plays too. One one misses for the second ball. There's a good slider down and in at that back foot. That's a tough pitch to lay off as a hitter and a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those. How could he not swing at that one. A good take there on that pitch. Swing and a little tapper but that one rolls foul. The two two is looked at and the count moves full. Justin Turner is on deck. Good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. To me, when it's raining, the approach at the plate has to change a little bit, especially if you're a guy that can run a little bit. Put the ball in play any way possible, especially on the ground. Making plays in the rain becomes exponentially tougher to do when it's wet, so these offenses really need to limit the strikeouts. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. 
and I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Stepping into the box, Manny Machado. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Turner, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They, they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Manny Machado is the second out of the opening frame. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now, number 13. A ball and two strikes. Count still at one and two. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. One and two, here it comes. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what Dan I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know that's one of the things I think. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Dodgers lead one. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, you have to be really impressed with what J.D. Martinez does for this offense. He's one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. Clayton Kershaw is on the mound here on the road for Game 1 of the World Series. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Clayton Kershaw, he just breathes different air than everybody else. The best pitcher in the game of baseball. Good fastball, good changeup, good cutter, and a terrific curveball. When you think about the Cy Young Award, he's always in the mix. He's good, he's strong, he's left-handed, and he's quite simply one of the greatest pitchers of all time. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And let's focus our attention on second baseman Brian Dozier. We know what he can do from the offensive standpoint. Light tower power. But he doesn't get enough credit for his defense. His ability to manipulate the bag and do all this while his hair never moves. Now with the plate, Mickey Betts. it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here he comes again, one-two. Missed with a breaking ball. 
That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. Hit out towards second. Dozier has it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint, but nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Three two pitch and he will take ball four first and second now with nobody out always tough to issue a free pass but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning we'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this None out, runners at first and second. On the ground, up the middle. Step on the back for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Good pitch on the ground ball there, and an even better job up the middle to take it himself and turn two. Pretty smooth. Into the box now, Xander Bogarts popped him up. Dozier ranging into shallow right, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Red Sox lead one, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. Hit in the air to center field. Bradley is there. Makes the play one away. At the plate, Cody Bellinger. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here now the 2-2. Fouled away. Two two lifted down the line in left and that will end up a foul ball. A swing and a miss he struck him out and it's two up two down to start the second and with two away here in game one of the World Series let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Here's Brian Dozier now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. No score here as we play inning number two. Six. 
lays off the one two change up and he's worked it back to two and two. Drilled on the ground is short. Played on the backhand. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Dodgers down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Steve Pierce now, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, 3 and 1. In the on deck circle, Ian Kinsler. He'll hit next. The 3 1. Count full, three balls and two strikes. High pop up. Grandal moving to his left, and that's the first out of the inning. Batting 10. Stacking Next up for the Red Sox, Ian Kinsler. Bottom of the second here with no score. Here now the 2 2. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Now in the box, Eduardo Nunez, and he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. On the ground to the left side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. So striding forward now, Christian Vasquez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. The one two. In the dirt, and now let's see. In time as he just gets the tag down. Red Sox go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, and he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. The 1-1. One, one. High in the air out towards shallow right. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. Batting ninth, the right fielder number 66. Yassiel. Into the box now. Yassiel Puig. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here.
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And another pitch is hit foul as the battle continues here. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strike out there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Into the box, Kike Hernandez. And it's fouled away. Third inning, no score to this point. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Coming to the plate now, Christian Vasquez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Now the one two pitch from Kershaw and a half swing that time but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire and that'll be the first out of the inning. I think that's one of the toughest calls for an umpire to make the check swing appeal hitters rarely feel like they went and I don't think he likes getting rung up there by the first base umpire but looking at it it's hard to say for sure that he didn't go around. Stepping in now Jackie Bradley Junior. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. And there's out number two. Now batting. Right fielder. Mookie. Striding in. Mookie Betts. Favorable call in there for a strike. Come on, lads. Are you kidding me? The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Thanks. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local stations. Stepping up now Justin Turner as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in but that hasn't been the case. Turner in front at three balls in a strike. Come on, the three one takes this the other way to right a dive and oh he can't hang on. 
Well, this guy makes a living on hitting fastballs. Fall behind in the count, and you'll make your pay. Yeah, Dan, you drive to the ballpark every night praying to get in 1-3-1 count so your eyes can light up and guaranteed fastball let it eat. Here's Manny Machado now. Runner at first to start the inning, and Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry, and if you don't have a good feel on that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. The 1-1 home is an off-speed pitch called for a strike. The one two and he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate it'll remain one and two little guessing game going on right now being late on that fastball after the change he had to be sitting off speed right there on the ground for Kinsler this could be two the second for one on to Pierce at first and it's a double play now batting number 13. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter number 13 no one on base for him after the double play. Yeah and that that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. One and two now. Hit hard. Foul. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, Dero, anytime a lefty takes that pitch on the outer third and drives it the other way, you have to be awfully impressed. Yeah, you have to be. It reminds me of Will Clark back in the day taking that ball the other way. You have to be able to play with the whole field to have success in the big leagues today. Riding in for Boston, J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. On, He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the third right here. Standing in now, Xander Bogarts lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two gets him looking strike three. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all.
Into the box now. Steve Pierce in there, and it's even now, two and two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Kershaw comes set. Here's the two and two. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. Benintendi over at second. Martinez on at first with two down. Three two pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Bellinger on the move. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Boston strands a couple through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. To the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard to the right side, but foul, so we'll see if he can straighten that out. Another 0 2 home. Pitch is popped up. Bogarts is there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth and boy just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Popped him up. Nunez is able to look this one in just past the third base dugout, and that's out number two. Second baseman. Here's Brian Dozier now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here now the 2 2. It is laid off and the count runs full. Yosmani Grandal would be next. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. The next 3 2. Loud contact by Dozier and a ball with carry to left field. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3 2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. Into the box, Yosmani Grandal. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, after back to back two out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate of crooked number going on the board. Get him down now. 
In now, Yasiel Puig. Outside, two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Now the 2 1 pitch is laid off of for ball number three. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. The 3 1 is in there for the second strike. Two strike. Now the three and two pitch. Count still full, three and two. Dozier on second. Grandal at first, two out in the inning. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Boy, it's been tough to score in this one so far through the fifth inning, but that RBI base hit right there is a nice breakthrough. Yeah, it's been a great pitcher's duel up until this point. They've been executing on the bump without question, but that RBI knock right there might set the tone for the later innings. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Kike Hernandez. He went down on strikes last time up. Hits are now even at four apiece. Three and one to the Dodgers left fielder. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And a great change of pace has him off balance, a swing and a miss. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. Last half of the fifth coming up. Dodgers out in front, one to nothing. Riding into the box, Eduardo Nunez. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. The 1-1. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. The one two. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So striding in, Christian Vasquez. One two pitch from Kershaw on he pops it up we coming on but he won't get there it falls in and now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning it's so important Mark to start to make quality pitches and if you don't this is what can happen two batters two base hits first and third nobody out yeah and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player you're just trying to get the runner in from third you can't worry about creating a monster inning do your job. Take it 
Standing in now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Three two pitch swing and a liner a leap but he can't bring it down base hit and the tying run is into score from third it's one to one. Stepping into the box Mookie Betts he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. Into the box now Andrew Benintendi hit down the line at first. One run, seven hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. The next three, two. There's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Next will be the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. He's one for two in this one. Vasquez at third, Bradley at second, Benintendi is over at first with one away. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's now a two to one ball game. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump. But this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseball. That gives him a multi hit game and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Into the box, Xander Bogarts. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Still only one out in the inning. Hit high and deep to right center, giving Chase his Bellinger. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And that will score the runner from third as they'll open up a three to one lead. One of the things you want to do as an offense right is stay fundamental and keep pushing a great job there. Sack fly pushes the third run across in this inning. Here's Steve Pierce now. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Runners at the corners, two men out. <laughs> the 
The one two misses down below the knees. Pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strike out there but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball. Hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Go on to first, and an important pitch there as they get out of the inning before things explode. So they pick up three runs on four hits here. No errors. And two men left on base. Five innings complete. The Red Sox lead it three to one. At the plate, Justin Turner. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. The batter, short stop. Next up for Los Angeles, Manny Machado. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Lifted down the line in left, and that will end up a foul ball. Here's the one and two. And a neck high fastball that time. This is one of those classic cases of the right guy at the right spot. They need to get a rally going, and this is maybe their best hitter, so he's the right guy in the right spot for this team right now. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Down the third baseline. Scooped up. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. And lucky for them, the right fielder is there to back up the throw. Well, I think the second baseman felt the heat from the runner coming at him. He seemed to rush his throw, and that caused him to throw it wide at first. Tough turn, but I think he'd tell you he should have made a better throw. Next will be the cleanup hitter, number 13, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. So stepping in, Matt Kemp, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The 1-1 one -one is in there for strike number two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? This is a great spot to be in as a pitcher. You have two strikes. You can bury one for a potential strikeout. And at worst, keep the ball down in the zone. You might be able to turn one pitch into an ending, ending double play. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and force the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Stepping in now, Cody Bellinger. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. 
Now to the plate, Brian Dozier, one for two on his line so far in the game. the one two from sale swing and he pops him up and this should get him out of it Nunez is there as he makes the catch and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded a couple of walks but no damage back with more from game one after this Riding in once again, Ian Kinsler. He'll be the one to start things here against Clayton Kershaw. A 1 1 home to Kinsler. Yeah. A high fastball is in there. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Standing in now, Eduardo Nunez. Two balls That's and a strike. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. One out, nobody on. Here's a ball hit softly down to third. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Hey, not a bad way to start the nightcap. Three at bats, three base hits, D Row. Yeah, the pressure falls off you after you go one for one. Two for two, all smiles. Three for three, get the party started. Here comes the Dodger manager making his way toward the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Kenta Maeda enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Another one two delivery. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. In now, Jackie Bradley Jr. Now it's swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Nunez is off of first with two away. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He's set. Here's the two-two. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. 
Hey, great job of holding up right there. Little two out lightning might ensue by one check swing holding up. Now a move over to first, oh, he's and he's back easily. Now the three and two pick, and he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Object for the right, right fielder. Okay. Standing in, Mookie Betts. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. The 2 1 takes a pitch for strike number two. Here now the 2 2. This is skied into short left center. Calling for it, Hernandez. And that retires the side. Boston strands a couple, and it's still three to one. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look there at our game summary through the first six innings so far. Digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Into the box, Yasiel Puig. Full count still. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. And when your pitch count gets over 100, you've got to expect them to lose a little bit of accuracy out there. And I think if he gets in any more trouble, they might come get him. We'll see if he can finish strong. Digging in, Kike Hernandez. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. to send him packing pitch on its way down the first baseline he'll go to the bag for one and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw here's one that you don't see too often right safe at second base but out at first great hustle there from the runner going into second really showed off his speed Standing in now, Justin Turner fouled off. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. MVP. MVP. Ripped on the ground to first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. One left for LA. Score holds, it's three to one. Left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Hey. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. 
Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. Into the box now, J.D. Martinez. Hit hard up the middle. Throw gets him, two down. Number two. Bogart. Here's Xander Bogarts now. 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. High in the air and deep to left center field. Bellinger racing back. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Any hitter will tell you that a shot like that just feels different. It sounds different off the bat. See his arms get extended, right arm tucked up against his body, barrel the bat all over the ball, and he smokes it right off the wall at left center. A little more hang time, and that one probably gets out of here. Stepping in now, Steve Pierce. And he fouls this one off. The one two. It's a fastball that misses. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. 2-2. There's a curveball taken low for a ball. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Bogarts at second with two down. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back with more of game one after this message and a word from our local station. Matt Barnes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Matt Barnes. Here's Manny Machado now, and he's over in this one, batting out of the three spot. The 1 1 is laid off for ball two. Bobby Cox always used to say I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well against the modern day bullpen easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. To two and two now. Hey boys, although I'd love to get all over this offense for underachieving, let's tip our cap to this pitching staff right here. They've been able to execute, working all four quadrants and keeping this team totally off balance. Fouled away. Another 2 2. Here's Machado with a drive. Well hit to deep left field. And it's off the green monster. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. And the throw in gets away from him. 
That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two Number runs, he puts himself in scoring 19. position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Now it'll be the four hole hitter number 13 he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. The 1 1. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Ranging back is Bradley. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. So a two run shot to left center as it's now a three all ball game. I mean, you have to love the World Series. What a game we have right now. Home run ties it late. Place is going absolutely bananas. Would you rather be anywhere else? In now, Matt Kemp. And Kemp fails to connect there as this is cut on and missed for the first out of the inning. And there are the final numbers for the Boston starter. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. The 3 1. He swung on and missed a full count now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking up around the letters. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Chris Taylor will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number three, Chris Hard hit ball to second. Oh, he gets a glove on it, knocks it down. Through first and hustling for second. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. Number nine, Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Three two pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, some might say a walk there is okay because you've got first base open, but he's been struggling out there. And if you're going to work around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. Standing in, Yasiel Puig in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Taylor over at second. Grandal on at first with two down. Fastball not close and he runs it to two balls and a strike. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. The 2 1 pitch. And a breaking ball stays outside. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Get 
Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Case in point right there, Matty. We're seeing a trend, the north and south. A lot of pitchers working that elevated fastball and then breaking stuff off in the dirt. We used to see east-west. Not the case anymore. Ready now. Two-strike pitch on its way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Betts will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. But the Dodgers do strike for two coming on this two run home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. We're tied now with three apiece. Chris Taylor will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base, number three, Chris Taylor. Number 46 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Here's the second baseman Ian Kinsler 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1 1 home he is swung on and missed and that's strike two. The one two and it's fouled away. Ready to deliver the one and two and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. Hard ground ball to third. Turner's got it. And that's out number one. Now batting, third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. Ready now, Eduardo Nunez trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. One and one, here it is. And the changeup is way low that time. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. The 2-1 home is a breaking ball in off the plate. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Bases are empty, one man out. Corner and slicing foul. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Digging in now, Christian Vasquez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit to first. To second for one. On to the pitcher covering it first. And it's your textbook 3 6 1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. 
So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're on to the ninth here in game one. And we are all tied at three apiece. Greg Kimbrell comes on to work now, and he's their usual closer, but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah, this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Very weakly on the ground. Foul ball, strike two. The one two. Still one and two. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Turner, one for two in the ball game thus far. Here's the pitch. Sliced hard on the ground. Kinsler's got it, and that's the second out. The batter, number eight, shortstop. Manny Here's Manny Machado now. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Come on, Boston. Here's the 0 and 2. And a neck high fastball that time. Boy, this guy comes out of the pen. He loves coming in in spots like this, tight situations. This is exactly the type of game that he loves to come into. The one two. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Here now the two two. Now a ball hit sharply toward third. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Two seamer fighting to get inside, and he closed the screen door right there. Nice base hit down the line. Into the box, number 13. And there's ball two now. <laughs> now the 2 1. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. Dodgers lead one. No change in the score. It's three to three. Scott Alexander enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He's one for two in the ball game. The 1-1 home. He swung on and missed for strike number two. 
Alexander is a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the park. It's a rare day that someone takes him deep, which obviously makes him a very valuable commodity in the bullpen. One of the things as a manager you want to do, you want to bring a reliever in and know that he can keep the ball in the ballpark. And this guy does a great job of it. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. And this is the case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one, but he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run, so it's a good move. Into the box now, Mookie Betts. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Fouled off. And that one just missed outside. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, Heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Now the one and two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bellinger's under it. One out. Now batting, Andrew Benintendi got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Here's J.D. Martinez. Now a swing and a drive to center field. Back is the center fielder. Did he get enough of it? He did. Ball game over. Two run shot to straightaway center. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. and historic moments in the World Series and we just got another one of those a walk off to end this thing in the final at bat of the game what a finish